All right, example four says 26 times x to the fourth times y minus 39 times x to the third times y squared plus 52 times x squared times y to the third and take away 13x y to the fourth. All right, so guys, we have to find the GCF first. But for us to find the GCF, if you can't see it right away, then what you want to do is break it down into uh, prime factors, okay? So 26 is an even number. So we know 2 goes in 26, 13. Um, x to the 4 times y. We can break that down later. 39 is not an even number, but we know 13 goes in there 13. 13 goes in there 3 times. 52, it is an even number. So we can definitely start with a 2. Well, we know 52 divided by 2, so... We, could, we can do this route, right? 5 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Remainder is going to be 1. 12 divided by 2 is going to be 6. So currently, we are breaking down as 2 times 26. But 26 is not a prime number, so we can go 2 times 13. And then 13, guys, is going to be a prime number, so it's going to be just 1 times 13, just like that. Now, so we can write it like this. 2 times 13, 2 times 13 is going to be... 26, x to the fourth, eventually you do need to get really fast at these uh, multiplication. So if you are struggling, then I highly recommend that you study your times table. x to the fourth, guys, that's four x's and then times y. 39 is going to be three times 13, x to the third, that's the same thing as three x's. And then y squared, that's going to be y times y, two y's, okay? 26, times 2, but 26 is not a prime, so that's why we broke that down into 2 times 2 times 13. So plus 2 times 2 times 13, x squared is going to be x times x, y to the third guy is going to be y times y times y. Let me pinch it in because I need space. And then 13 is going to be by itself, so minus 13 times x and y to the fourth, we would have four of these y's, okay? And eventually we're not gonna be able to write all of this out because our exponents will be way too big. So, um, right, GCF, oh, guys, fix this for me. This is two times 13, not two times 12. Okay, fix that, okay? All right, so the GCF for this question is going to be, all right, they all have 13 in common. So take that out. Then they all have X's, just the question of how many, right? What's the biggest one that can go in it? So it looks like they all have at least one X. So 13 X and they all have at least one Y in it. So that's a Y, there's two Y. So you want to be able to divide. What's the biggest number that we can divide from each one? So the GCF 13 X Y. So we're gonna go in and divide each and every term 13 X Y. Divide each and every term 13xy, divide each and every term 13xy, divide each and every term 13xy. So we, when you factor, make sure the GCF goes in the front just like this. And the remaining four terms will go inside. So let's take our pencil and see what we can reduce. So 26 divided by 13, that will give us reducing those. So we're going to have two left. We have 1x is going to be canceled out with 1x here. 1y is going to be canceled out with one of those y there. So now we have 2 times x to the third. So 2x to the third. Similarly with this, the 13 is going to be reduced. The x and the x is going to be reduced. One of the y is going to be reduced. So this one's minus 3. We have two x's and a y. So that's going to say x squared times y. 13 is going to be reduced. One of the x is gone and one of the y is gone. So two times two guys is going to be four. And then we have one x and a y squared. So x times y squared. And 13 and 13 is going to be reduced down to 1, so minus 1, but we're not going to write a 1 because we still have others. An x and an x is going to be reduced. One of the y's is going to be reduced, so it looks like we just have y to the third. So minus y to the third, and that is going to be our final answer after factoring out the GCF. We can also need, multiply it back to see if we get the original. Okay, so copy this back, 13xy times 2 x to the third 
minus 3x square y plus 4 x y square minus y square this is just copying it back all right let's distribute 13 x y times 2 x to the third 13 times 2 is 26 x this is a one power and y that's a one power and when you multiply you add the exponents so x times x to the third the exponent of x is now 4 y to the first times 2 x to the third there's no y so the one y will carry over then we say, okay, do the same thing with this one, minus 13 times 3, that's going to be 39, x times x squared, that is now adding the exponent to make three x's together, y times y, that is y squared, next one is 13xy times 4xy squared, minus 13 times 4, that's going to be 52, x times x is x squared, Square. y times y square is now y to the third. Next one is going to be 13xy times y square. 13, remember there's a, there's a one here if you want to think about it like that. So this is really a negative one. 13 times a negative one is negative 13. x times y square, there's no x, so we have to bring that x over. y times y square, students, is y to the third because we add the power. And so, whoa, whoa, okay, so it looks like, oh, you know what, I didn't copy, look at this. I wrote the third power here, and then I wrote a square here. That's why my answer did not, did not match with that fourth power. So that, thank goodness, we check, because that should have been a, an error of me copying, so y to the third. So y to the third times y is now y to the fourth. So see how we checked and that allowed me to catch my mistake. Wow, that was a big no-no. Just copying down the wrong power caused my answer to be incorrect. Okay, so now we are moving on to factor completely. So we're adding on a little bit. Here are the guidelines to factor by grouping. Again, if you need to pause, um, hit pause and then copy the, question, uh, the steps down. Step number one, break the expressions into two sets of binomials, okay? So break it in half. Factor out the GCF from each set of binomial. Number three, factor out the GCF from the entire expression. And number four, write it as a product of two binomials, okay? So, what we want to do is we want to factor out the GCF. Are you ready? So we just learned how to factor out the GCF. So that allows us to say, okay, 2, 5, 4, and 10. They do not have any numerical GCF in common. This one has x to the third, has x squared, has x. This is no x's at all, so the GCF is really 1, which we don't factor out a GCF of 1. So the next step is, okay, now break this expression into two equal parts, just like this. So make a fence. Then we are going to check the GCF again, just the first two terms and the last two terms independently. So the GCF for this one not the numerical, but we do have an x squared and x to the third. So we are going to take out an x squared. If we take out an x squared, remember, taking out an x squared is like dividing each term by x squared. Okay, whoops. Okay, so take out an x squared means we are factoring. That means we're dividing. So 2x to the third divided by x squared, that's 2x plus 5x squared divided by x squared, it's going to be a plus 5 because the x squared are going to be reduced. If this is a minus, you drop down the minus sign immediately, just like that. And the GCF of a 4 and a 10, the biggest number, numerical value we can take out is a 2. So we're going to divide this by 2, divide that by 2. So this is what you have to think about. This is really, guys, negative 4x divided by negative 2. That's what we have to look at, okay? That will say positive 2x. Then we have to look at negative 10 divided by a negative 2, okay? Because there's a negative right there. We just took out a negative, so 
divided by a negative because we took out a negative number. So that's going to be a positive five. So be careful when you are taking out a negative number, then you have to divide by a negative number below. Now, this is the magic part. Notice how these right here are exactly the same. That's a factor on its own. So we take that out, your final answer is going to look like two X plus five. That's a common factor, we take that out. Then this leftover stuff, they go in this space right here. So x squared minus two. Now you don't have to write that just like that. Some students said, oh well, can I write the x squared minus two in the front? Of course, you can totally write x squared minus two in the front, close it up. And then the two identical factor, that's technically just one term. And you can also box that up just like that.